Hi guys, it's Leslie. We're going to do five moves today. I'm going to show them to you as I tell you. We are going to start with a side with a plank. Make sure you've got your nice straight lines and good form. Side plank if you watch my feet. So you're just going to rotate. And you're going to open up. Your top foot is going to be your anchor in this case. Your next one is a side bend. If you watch my shoulder, it doesn't sink. You just sink your hips down and your arm down. Then we're going to do what's called a pio pike, which is when you get to stick your butt in the air. So if you watch my feet, they're going to rotate back. You're going to stick your butt up. You're going to pull your arm under and then rotate back open. And the last one is um, a little bit more advanced, so if you don't feel comfortable doing it, please don't. But what you're going to do is you're going to take your top leg, you're going to flip it over behind you. This is called a pio flip. And then you're going to basically do like a back bend. Now, for each one, there's a modifier for plank. Just put your knees down. Then for the others, side plank, you get to keep one knee down, but don't sink down into your hips. Make sure you keep a nice straight line. And then um, for the side bend, then you'll sink into the hips with the knee down. Pio pike. And let's get back into your knees. Do that, and for the pio flip, if you want to try modifier, you just keep your knee down until you get into the up position. But like I said, if you're not comfortable with it, please don't do it. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with the plank, rotate into side plank, side bend, side plank, pio pike, side plank, pio flip. And then we'll do it again. So from your pio flip, back to the side plank, back to a plank. Side plank, side bend, side plank, pio pike, side plank, pio flip, side plank, plank. So you'll do it twice on each side which I just showed you the twice. So I showed you one side and then just repeat it on the other side. I'm not going to show you because that's going to be putting support on my right wrist, which is bothering me today. But I will show you one thing that I do. When I am having wrist problems, this is what helps me, is I do this instead. So if you can see, I don't have the heel of my hand down because that puts the pressure on my wrist. So instead, the support is on the pad of my hand, this part right under my fingers. And that's what I found helps me. Um, another thing is um, Shalene Johnson, the creator of Pio and other fitness programs, has said, um, don't worry about if you're shaking with your wrist or your ankles or wh whatever part of your body that's supporting you is shaking. That's normal because that is your body getting stronger. So. Um, when you were doing the Warrior 3, I know for me this happens a lot, that my leg gets really shaky, but it's my ankle strengthening. And the same goes for my wrist. So don't worry. We shake now so we don't jiggle later, all right? Have a good night or a good day. And uh, I'll catch you on the flip side.